Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's. Wish you guys the very best. How are you doing, Scorpio? I hope you're doing amazing, my lovely. We're going to be pulling out tarot cards to see what the messages are for the month of February. And then we're going to be pulling out some oracle cards to see what the specific message is for you. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Let's see what spirit has. Now we have the four of cups. We have the ten of cups. Okay, a bit of boredom here. We have the two of swords. We have the full card, okay, the ace of swords, the nine of pentacles, okay, the queen of wands, and the two of wands, okay, Scorpio, expansion is the word for you for this month of February. With the four of cups, you may be feeling a bit uh, restless, feeling a bit like things are not moving very quickly or as quickly as you would want. With the Ten of Cups, this could be a situation in regards to family dynamic or where you currently live. The Two of Swords, there is a bit of lack of movement on your part. It's almost like I feel you guys are feeling a bit restrictive and this is why you're feeling restless. It's almost like you are wanting to make things happen and make them happen quick. Um, but what Spirit is telling you is that you need to be patient in this situation. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to your finances, in regards to growth and expansion. For others of you, this could be in regards to a connection or a relationship. Um, what they're telling me here with the Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords, you may be feeling like you are a bit frustrated in your home situation right now. This could be feeling a bit restricted, like maybe your partner's being a bit restricted towards you, uh, a little bit too much in your business. Uh, for others of you, it could almost be like if you do live with other family members or other people around you, it could feel like you've kind of outgrown that situation and you're kind of fed up with it. However, there is a new beginning that's coming towards you that it's going to propel you moving forward. Um, to be in a more harmonious type of energy with the Ace of Swords. Uh, this could represent communication. This can also represent a new idea um, or a new plan to execute. Uh, so for some of you guys, again, like I said, if you are living, your living arrangements are currently not ideal, this is going to be unfolding for the month of February where there's going to be opportunities coming to you that are going to make it much more better or for others of you, this could be options that you have that start to line up where you have, like I said, options uh, in regards to um, in regards to making moves. OK, so for some of you, it could be that, like I said, if you're living with a family member, friends um, and you're feeling a bit like there is it's not as harmonious as it was initially in the beginning. Uh, for the month of February, I want to say the second to third week of February, things are going to start to line up. Uh, this could be your finances growing. This could be being able to put money on the side. This could be making that transition or making that move uh, in regards to changing residency or in regards to physically moving. Um, now, with the Ace of Swords here and the Nine of Coins, I do see an opportunity coming in for you guys where you're going to be making um there, there's okay so what they're telling me is there's going to be an opportunity coming in that's going to bring you a lot of opportunity for money um this is a new way or a new form of making money for some of you guys this could be uh, the desire to start something uh as a business that starts rather small this could be something that you're very good at um and then you start to realize that through word of mouth other people are coming towards you uh, to get assistance or to get that service that you're providing and you're going to be able to experience that growth with within that momentum of uh, doing something. And they're highlighting here doing something that you're really passionate about or something that you really enjoy doing. Um, so this is ultimately like uh, it could be an, an idea that you get, something that you enjoy doing, that you start doing of. And then friends or people around you start to encourage you to put yourself out there or through word of mouth. Um, they find people or bring people to you that are interested in the services or uh, what you are putting forth. So I definitely do see momentum in regards to that. Now is the time not to procrastinate, Scorpio. What they're telling you is take the plunge, take those opportunities that are coming in, because it is going to really 
um, bring to you not only the stability that you're looking for, but bring to you a, a lot of financial stability. With the Queen of Wands here, you have to believe more in yourself and have more faith in what you're doing. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be dealing with fire energy, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or uh, Leo type of energy. For others of you, you may be dealing with air energy as well, or an Aries. Um, now, with the Two of Wands here and the Fool, I again, the reason why I said expansion is for you, this month of February is going to be um, almost a feeling like if you felt the past couple of days or the past couple of weeks, like things are not moving as quickly as you would want, that's not going to be the case for February anymore. I start to see a lot of momentum, a lot of things unfolding, and these are opportunities almost that are coming to you almost the feeling of like by accident, but it's not really accident. They're aligning, uh, again, trying to push you forward in the most positive way to bring to you the growth, the financial stability, and the expansion that is needed. It's almost like you've outgrown these situations or you've outgrown, um, for some of you guys, even outgrown the people that you live with or outgrown where you're living at right now. And it's time for you uh, to take that change. So for those of you guys that have been thinking about moving or have been thinking like, you know, I'm kind of tired of being here in this area. Now is the time to start planning because what they're telling you here is you've outgrown that situation. It's almost like a feeling of by remaining where you're at right now, it's kind of like you are setting your own limitations. So again, it's about expansion. It's about moving forward and making those um, making those moves uh, and not being fearful of the outcome. Uh, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with a situation in the workplace uh, where you feel like, you know, you're starting to get momentum, whether it's with clients, whether it's with um, people noticing really the hard work and determination that you've been putting, stop limiting yourself. Stop feeling like you could not achieve more than what you have up until now, because that's not going to be the issue anymore. For you now, what they're telling you is, are you pushing yourself, Scorpio? Are you uh, pushing that envelope? Are you doing what is expected and probably a little bit above and beyond that so that you can really shine um, in regards to what you're doing? I see a lot of people around you. And again, there is there's a bit of frustration that I'm sensing here. And I feel that for some of you guys, this could be in the workplace. This could be with your finances. This could be with family in general. But it's almost a feeling like, you don't really want to deal with like the everyday little things. This could be almost a feeling like if you're the one that works and your wife is the one that stays at home or vice versa, uh, your wife is the one that works and you're the one that's at home. It's kind of a feeling of like, you know, I don't want to get home from work tired and then hear other people complain about what their day was, that type of energy, but be patient with yourself and with your loved ones, Scorpio. That's not that's quickly going to be subsiding. Uh, it, it's just almost the feeling of whether you're aware of it or not at this present time. What spirit is telling you is that your soul's purpose is to expand. It's to grow. It's to start new things. It's to really challenge yourself to getting yourself out of your comfort zone in order to be able to see those changes start to manifest for you very heavily here uh, with the ten of cups and the nine of coins. It, it, it's almost like financial stability is going to really be, um, and they're telling me here the third week of February, um, it's going to be very, like, very strong for you in regards to making decisions that are going to affect the family as a whole. So again, I do see move, movement here. I do see for some of you guys um, changing um, residency uh, making for some of you guys, this could even be like thinking about moving to a different country. Um, and it's like you're trying to take the steps to get you there or, or, or making movements right now that are going to help you facilitate that in the long run. And I definitely do see that unfolding for you. So again, uh, expansion is what this month of February is going to be for you. So do not be scared about certain outcomes you know whenever you get opportunities that come your way take those opportunities and really challenge yourself even if you feel like it's out of your comfort zone it's going to be necessary for your expansion and your growth okay all right my lovely so let's see what spirits direct message is for you scorpio sun moon rising and venus 
What is the direct message from Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to the situation that they're going to be dealing with for the month of February 2021? Okay, Scorpio. Your first card here is openness. Yeah, so definitely keep an open mind. Try the best you can to be patient. Um, really take, open your heart and your mind to the possibilities for this month of February. Do not set yourself to limiting beliefs. Do not stick with, well, you know, I, you know, there is this, you know, there's this uh, stigma around the family that we are only capable of doing certain things or that we have to really, you know, sacrifice in order to get what we want, that type of energy. What they're telling you is, no, you are the co-creator of your own life. It is up to you what you deem yourself worthy of and what you deem yourself not worthy of. So again, there is no limitation to the potential that you're capable of doing not only for the month of February, but for this whole 2021, it's about keeping an open mind. It's about connecting on a spiritual level and feeding your spirit, soul, um, really connecting and knowing that you can, you are the true manifester of your own life. It is up to you whenever there is opportunities that come to you. The more you sit there and wait to make a decision, to make a move, to whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve or you're wanting to make happen the two of swords is almost like that that are within ourselves the fears that start to come up what if i fail what if it doesn't work out what if etc 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 you're the one that's already creating those obstacles in your life keep an open mind and keep an open heart is what they're telling you here now the next card here is healing chaos so I feel that uh, for a lot of you guys, like I said, there's almost like this, th there's this feeling that I'm sensing of like I'm agitated and I am like my patience is very little. Uh, and, and this could be, again, the family dynamic or this could be in connection with your living situation right now. There is a lot of healing that's happening. Nothing happens by accident. So if you're currently dealing with family or relatives that perhaps in the past you haven't had such great connection or such great um, communication, you are being pushed, you're being propelled to uh, really challenge yourself and get yourself out of your own comfort zone, even if we have to open up and communicate what we've been holding on to, what we've been feeling, how that person makes us feel, etc. It's about really opening yourself up and getting out of that comfort zone and speaking your truth or being honest and transparent so that they can see your your perspective as well. And whatever it is that they open up to you as well, be open to it. Don't be so harsh. Don't be so quick to judge. It's about healing you guys. Now, the next card here is transformation. Beautiful energy, Scorpio, beautiful energy. I feel that what you're going through right now is almost like a, a pivotal moment that is preparing you to go into the next cycle of your life uh, much more healed, much more open to the greatness that you're capable of making in this world and not just with yourself but those around you. And transformation, it's time for you to release yourself from any energies that, you know, energies or toxic situations or suppressing those emotions. It's time for you to speak up for yourself. It's time for you to express how you're feeling and be open and true and authentic and genuine to you. By you doing this with other people, it is because of you and for you ultimately healing here. Transformation, really, I feel that 2021 is going to be very important for Scorpios, but with the transformation card, I feel that that transformation is already happening and it's ongoing. So the best thing you can do is keep an open heart and an open uh, open heart and an open mind. Uh, be willing to embrace healing if it's necessary, even if it's uncomfortable. We have to deal with it now so that you can fully experience the transformation so that you can fully experience the blessings that are coming your way. My lovelies, I hope that this gives you guys some insight. I wish you guys the very best. Happy Valentine's and we'll see each other soon. Bye.